Aviation expert Michael Boyd joins us now from Bloomington, Illinois. Mr. Boyd, good morning. Good morning, sir. What do you think led to this collision Monday at JFK? A pilot that didn't know what he was doing. Forget everything else. This pilot ran into another airplane. He should know how big his airplane is, but that doesn't change the fact that we have radar systems and other backup that should have told the pilot he was getting, you know, moving along into another airplane. So we have a, a systemic breakdown here. Yeah, what is the problem? You've got this brand new plane. I mean, my car, when I parallel park, it tells me if I'm too close to the curb. There was nothing on this plane that gave the pilot or anyone any type of alert that a plane was that close? No, apparently not. But the, the reality is, I don't care if his, his nose wheel was in the middle of, of the taxiway, he knows he has a big airplane and he ran into another airplane. So the bottom line of it is we have a pilot at the bottom line who screwed up. And I think that's going to be the bottom of it. But we have other systems there that should have avoided this. And that's what we have to look into. I want to discuss the bigger picture for you right now. This comes on the heel of two separate air traffic controller incidents, uh, both falling asleep on the job in the last couple of weeks. Does an event like this, do events like those speak to the larger deterioration of the aviation system in your mind? Oh, yeah. Our air traffic control system is a mess. It is declining. The FAA will tell you we have a new system, next gen. But when you look back, it's gone year after year with no progress whatsoever. So it's one of those things that until the airline industry stands up and tells the FAA, fix it or else, this is going to go on and on because there is no real fix to it in the works. Well, kind of like what you just mentioned there, the airline industry will argue that it's the safest that it's ever been. Um, but if you're a traveler, is there cause for concern, genuinely? I wouldn't say so. The, the, the real issue here is our air traffic control system, the airline industry, is accommodating it. In other words, there's about 10 to $12 billion in excess costs that airlines are incurring and passing on to us because we have an air traffic control system that is a perfect relic of the early 1980s. And as a result of that, we, don't, we have a safe system, but not an efficient system and not one that can be as safe as possible. Michael Boyd, we thank you for taking the time with us this morning. Good to talk to you.